So they Ashwini have taken Dube, that decision. Advocate Sarah. in the Supreme Court, please come in over here. The Supreme Court said today that it is the mind, not one's physical yeah. ability, that is important in terror crimes. Because uh, we had the lawyers for uh, Professor Sai Baba saying that he's very unwell. He's a uh, paraplegic. He is 90% paralyzed. He's wheelchair bound. He can't go anywhere. Just keep him at home. There's nobody to treat him. In response the, uh, to that, Sarah, the Supreme I... Court said, hold on, let me just finish. Um, the Supreme Court said it, the mind is what matters, not physical ability. The mind is important in a terror crime. Similarly, BJP MP Pragya Thakur, she's also an accused in a terror case in the Malegaon blast case. Would the same not hold for her that the mind is more important while she's out on bail on medical grounds? Thank you, Sarah, for having me here. Sarah, first, it is an admitted fact that the bail is a rule jail is ex exemption under the exception under the criminal law criminal jurisprudence but at the same time uapa is a special statute which has been enacted by the parliament to deal with the cases related to the terror let's do not discuss the what has happened in mr sai Baba's case now the second is what supreme court has not found him as of now not declared him guilty trial court found him guilty High Court on technical ground, as you rightly said, under Section 45, in the absence of the sanction, acquitted him. Supreme Court says no. Look for formulated four questions. One, that whether after the conclusion of trial and the accused is convicted on merits and on appreciation of evidences, where the High Court was justified in discharging the accused. Two cases can't be acquitted together because the facts of the case of both the cases are different. Be it the Pragya Thakur's case or be it Mr. Sai Baba's case. Both cases have a different footing, different uh, facts of the case as well as the different evidences. Now what is to be seen here? The court has had not set aside the judgment of the High Court. Yes, it's Matter suspended. is still pending on December 8th. Yes. Now medical condition is one of the essential condition. The court has to look into that even in the jail. A person should not be denied by the medical facilities and his life liberty should be protected. This is an admitted fact. But the question here is that all of them were convicted for their alleged Maoist link. I am again using the word alleged for and for waging war against the country. Ultimately, unless the top court reaches to the conclusion that whether the judgment of the high court Hmm. was based on the merits as well or only a technical question was taken that is the issue and I think hmm. that the December 8th is coming. Okay, let's so hope. you're saying, you're pointing out and let's uh, remind our viewers that that the court has only suspended for now the decision of the High Court. Fine, fair enough. Mahmood Paracha, let's take this further then. You're a senior advocate of the Supreme Court. Is it then uh, odd, let's say, that uh, you have an, uh, an acquittal order, the matters listed in front of uh, uh, Justice Chandrachu, the Chief Justice had risen for the day. One justice refuses to stay the acquittal, says the SG will move, uh, should move the Supreme Court on Monday. But then on sun Saturday, you have a new bench that sits. It's a non-working day. This suspends the acquittal order. Only, I mean, the only question is being asked about this, the urgency to act on this case. Is that unusual? A two-hour sitting on a weekend. That is quite unusual, uh, especially if the uh, government of India and especially the uh, worthy Solicitor General of India, Mr. Tushar Mehta, was not able to show such an urgency that heavens are going to fall, that this if this man is released, not released on bail, but this man after getting acquitted from a uh, very long trial is getting acquitted then if he is released, it will be a national emergency unless mm. you could have shown that. That was not even the argument which was placed mm. before the honorable court. So mm. this is quite unusual and we are seeing our solicitor general actually overpowering the attorney general also. Every day we are seeing this. So this is something which is to be uh, really one should be concerned about in the Supreme Court. That is one. Two, what the main point I want to highlight here is See, the, in these stringent laws, the biggest process, it is very well that the process, everybody accepts the process is the punishment. Yes. Now, Mr. Sai Baba had got that punishment of the process being so long drawn, yet after he gets acquitted. So there is a presumption and the, the, the bail is denied 
in UAPA cases solely because of a section that is 43D5. That presumption is there in law that a person is supposed to be guilty. I am just saying that in layman's word till the time he proves himself innocent. Now, in this case, he has proven himself to be innocent in a court of law. So, that presumption of guilt is not there. So, therefore, he now deserves bail more so because he's gone through such a long protected You're trial. You're seeing the High Court he given, given yes. what the High Court's ruling was. Now yes. it's no, a, it, you're on, you have to start off from scratch based on what the High Court ruling was. No, okay. This is something very unusual and this is something which I am I can very safely say that this is against the principles of natural justice as well as the law laid down by the parliament and in the Supreme Court itself, especially in case of Pragyan Singh Thakur and Lieutenant Colonel Prohi. Just compare the two situations where those persons were granted bail despite the fact that they were not acquitted. So, this is the comparison which is a must uh, for the country, people of this country to think and mm. ponder. This many, is very important. 